Hey, welcome to the Tool Junkie. Today I would like to talk about a measuring tool that I find extremely valuable. I use it almost daily. And it's a tool that I believe that most home workshops should have, but I don't think most do. Really super tool. Before we get started, if you would please click the like and subscribe buttons and the notification bell, and let's take a look. The tool that I'm talking about that I find so useful in my home workshop are calipers. Now these are both six inch calipers, meaning they can measure something six inches long or um, you know six inches across. Um, this is a dial type caliper that has a dial that you use to um, read to make your measurements. I'm going to try to get this a little bit closer so you can actually see the, the measurements. The um, scale here shows you tenths of an inch. So like here I'm just like right past one inch. Here I'm you know a little past nine tenths of an inch. And so like if where it's sitting right now I would read this as 0.9 and then on the dial here I'm sitting right at the 11 mark so it would be 0.911 or um, you know 0.911 of an inch. So you know these are used for making outside measurements. You can use them for making inside measurements. They uh, are very accurate and, and some people find the dial calipers a little bit um, difficult to interpret and so today we have digital calipers and these things are really fantastic. I really enjoy using these. Now we turn these on and first thing we want to do is zero it and then I can make my measurements and they read directly on the display and um, you can see what the uh, measurements are and again you can do inside measurements as well and the neat thing here is I can change these measurements to fractions like that's 930 seconds of an inch or to metric so this is 7.2 millimeters and then back so really nice that you can change the uh, or see the measurements in in multiple formats now this does have a battery that goes in it it's a uh, just a little button cell battery you do have to change those occasionally though they tend to last quite a long time and these calipers have an auto off feature so if you uh, just leave them sitting and forget to turn them off they'll turn themselves off automatically so that makes it very convenient these do have some scales on here if you just want to see approximately what the measurement is you can use the scale but largely you just use the display the other thing is these have and all of them do have a depth measurement capability so if you want to measure the depth of a hole or the depth of a step like when you're doing woodworking you know if you've got a a rabbit or something that you're cutting you want to measure how deep it is really good for that so these are the calipers that I'm talking about now like I say I use these for all kinds of of work in the workshop. They're just super valuable for um, making all kinds of accurate measurements, for measuring drill bits and machine milling machine cutters, to measuring the you know the stock of different materials that I'm working with, you know, whether it's metal or or wood, if I want to know the dimensions of um, a piece of stock, I can quickly and easily measure it and get an accurate measurement. Uh, really easy to see when you know especially like things that are made of wood or if they're not completely round if something's out of round it's really easy to measure it and see and so you can get accurate measurements of of just about anything and, and that's really important when you're trying to work not just in machine work and doing you know accurate machining but even doing woodwork uh, when you're trying to work to close tolerances and get tight fitting joints being able to make accurate measurements is very very helpful so like I said, I use these um, for working on musical instruments. I use them for working on uh, cameras and typewriters. Um, just about anything that I need to uh, measure. Now, these are available in from a number of places. You can get these um, very inexpensively. Harbor Freight sells some very inexpensive units. Uh, these Nikos. I actually bought an Amazon. I think maybe they're uh, just a step up from Harbor Freights. They're not super precision high dollar instruments, um, but they seem to be very accurate and compared to these brown and sharps. Now these brown and sharps 
are uh, they're older I, I literally bought these at a pawn shop for for fifteen dollars which was a steal I don't think the pawn shop really understood what they were selling but brown and sharp these are Swiss made very precision these are the kind of tool that a, a machinist and these are a few years old but back before digital calipers were available this is the kind of tool a machinist would use for making a lot of their measurements very precision and the the Nikos you know if I measure something with one and then the other the, agree, the measurements completely agree so the Nikos seem to be very um, very good quality quality of the, of the manufacturers is not quite as good as the brown and sharps but it's, it's very good it's, it's not bad and I'm quite happy with them you can buy these I just looked these up on Amazon before I started this video you can buy these for twenty six ninety nine on Amazon and um, they, they've been a really good pair of calipers. And I, I like them enough that I bought each of my sons, both of my sons, one of those. They both do, uh, you know, different kinds of, um, not really machine work. I mean, some machine work and some just, you know, home shop work stuff. But I bought, I bought them each a pair of these. And the Nikos come in a nice case so you can keep them safe. There's a little holder for a spare battery, and you do want to, I don't have one in here right now, but you do want to keep a spare battery handy. Um, I actually do have some spare batteries. Um, I tend to buy them, you know, like a lot at a time, so I have batteries. <laughs> but I, um, like I say, these come in a nice little case, and um, keeps them protected. I have a case for these as well, but it, I didn't really put it on the video because it's getting kind of ratty looking, but it's it's getting kind of old so I need to buy a new case for it but the um, calipers are available from a number of sources they're not terribly expensive if if you shop around the um, you know like I said you can you can buy some very um, expensive ones that are you know quite expensive or you can you can buy some that are not so expensive but still work quite well you know, and if you're a machinist and doing precision machine work, you want to get the best. You know, your quality of your work depends on it. But for a home shop where you're just measuring a variety of things and and maybe super precision isn't as necessary, then, you know, it, it uh, a less expensive set of them would be quite fine. Now, a couple things about keeping these in good order. You need to make sure you keep these clean, especially these kind that have the dial have actually a... A geared rack. I don't know if this will focus close enough. They have a geared rack in here, and it's covered um, by the depth gauge. But it, you want to make sure you keep that clean. Anytime I use any calipers, I'll take my finger and wipe the surfaces of the jaws clean, and make sure the unit zeros. If you have dial calipers, there's actually a locking screw you can loosen here, and you can turn the dial to zero the unit as opposed to a zeroing button and they they all have a locking screw so once you measure something you can lock the calipers at that place and it'll hold that measurement if you want to use then that measurement to compare against other things so super valuable tool and like i said they all have depth capability so if you want to measure the depth of something you can do that and that's that's really valuable as well so Calipers. If you don't have a pair of um, calipers, either the digital or the um, dial calipers for your home workshop, I think it's something you might want to think about getting. Well, there you have it. If you don't have a pair of calipers as part of your home toolkit, then this might be something you want to think about getting. They're super valuable for making accurate measurements on I mean I use them for all kinds of things from drill bits to screws and nuts and bolts to uh, metal stock uh, for doing machine work wood stock for doing woodwork I use these uh, working on musical instruments working on cameras typewriters just all kinds of things anytime you need accurate measurements this is a really great way to do it so if you don't have a pair of these might be something to think about and and there are some very affordable options for these. You can get some very inexpensive units that work quite well. And there's also some very expensive options. If you're the kind of person that likes to buy the best of the best, you can definitely invest in a pair of super precision pair of these. That'll be a, quite an investment. So there you have it. I uh, always appreciate it when you watch my videos. If you have any thoughts or questions, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.